San Francisco Bay was once ringed by 200,000 acres of tidal wetlands. In the last century, 90% of those wetlands have been lost. But a sea change is happening here at Sears Point, where a 1,000 acre tidal marsh restoration project is evolving. Sonoma Land Trust purchased the property in 2004 with the idea of restoring the land on a watershed scale from the rolling hills of the uplands all the way to the bay. The bay used to have 196,000 acres of tidal wetlands surrounding it. That was in the late 1800s. Since that time, we've lost a little over 90% of those wetlands. Fortunately, in the last few decades, we've begun restoring those, and that's exactly what's going on here at Sears Point. The Land Trust bought this property in 2004 with the idea of restoring on a watershed scale, restoring the grasslands in these hills leading all the way down across the pastures, farmland, seasonal wetlands, ultimately out to the bay. The plan is to restore a thousand acres of tidal marsh and that's what you see before you, inundated now in water, fresh water from recent storms, which will be salt water when we breach the levee in about 10 months. In the late 1800s, levees were built and the wetlands drained to make way for farms and infrastructure. Marshland was viewed as an impediment to progress instead of a valuable resource. So one of the things that happens when you seal off land that once was tidal marsh and no longer let the tides in is it begins to aerate. It's exposed to oxygen regularly and farming and compaction from farm equipment and that land begins to sink and all the land around us has sunk about six to seven feet. With the onset of climate change and sea level rise, attitudes have begun to change. Wetlands filter pollutants, sequester carbon, create a buffer against storm surges, and provide critical habitat for countless plants and animals including endangered species. There are a few rather unique and innovative features in this project that distinguish it from many of the others, and this project has learned from so many of the others. The first one is the marsh mounds. Marsh mounds are simply that, mounds of dirt, and their purpose, although they're sticking out now, they'll be under the tides when the tides do come in. They're not nesting islands for birds. They are, in fact, wave suppression mounds. The reason for that is we need to bring this land up seven feet. We need to build seven feet of soil. You can't do that in water that is wavy with lots of suspended sediment. We want it to fall out. Keep this area as calm as it looks today will be pretty hard, but something approximating that, and we'll have a marsh sooner than later. So another interesting feature here, I'm standing on a levee that was built, oh, maybe 20 years ago. And you can see it's a pretty steep levee, maybe a three to one, maybe a five to one slope. This doesn't offer a lot of room when the tides come in up against the side of the levee for wildlife to escape. We have built behind me a levee that is far larger and has a much more gradual slope that will eventually be planted with a number of plant species offering refuge during the very high tides. So this is the site where a lot will change in about 10 months. Behind me, you can see a large bare area. This is our old levee. This was a levee that was originally built in the late 1800s. It's gonna come down, pieces of it are. The breach will be about 300 feet wide. There will be a second breach about a mile that way. So we'll have two breaches, one straight to the bay and one to a neighboring tidal creek. And all the levee in between, that mile of levee will be lowered so that we'll have as much water coming into the site as possible. After 10 years of planning, in part
partnership with Ducks Unlimited, this project is now changing the map of the bay. Sears Point is situated on the north shore of San Pablo Bay, at the southernmost reach of Sonoma County. Historically part of a vast expanse of wetlands, the project area focuses on 1,000 acres south of Highway 37, seen highlighted here. From the spring of 2014, construction of the new levee, channels, and marsh mounds continued up until October 25th, 2015, when the restoration community came together to see the levee breached and the tides returned to Sears Point. So come visit Sears Point, hike the new two and a half mile addition to the Bay Trail to see the sea change for yourself.